Have you been wondering if there's an adapter out there to be able to drive a two inch or two and a half inch square post with a Rhino driver XA? What do you know? There sure is. This awesome thing and these awesome things. So these go into the posts and then the little, little hammer in here hits on these to be able to drive the post in the ground. Does it work? Well, that's what we're gonna find out. We are going to take a steel 16 gauge powder coated black post. We're gonna try and drive this in the ground. This is a two by two. We also have a two and a half by two and a half aluminum post, and we're gonna try and drive this one in the ground. We got about two and a half feet of really hard clay. We're gonna try and drive through that, and after that, we, ran, we get into some bedrock. So we're gonna see what happens. And if you don't know anything about the good old Rhino drivers, boy, you're in for a real treat. It went down really good, and then it just stalled out right at two feet. I'm thinking I'm on top of a rock. We're gonna try and move just a little bit further that direction. I think we're getting into more rock that way, a little bit more clay soil that way. So we'll try and redrive and see if we can get down to three feet or at least two foot six. Let's see what the top looks like. It took a beating, but I mean, it's not bad. Let's see if we can pull this thing out. No. Let's go get a forklift. It hit it pretty hard. So we cut this off. We're gonna try it again and we're gonna try it in a different spot because we were definitely on a rock. Right, right there. Just wanna see if we can get down to down to two foot six or three. I've been working like a dog day and night. Trying to finish up this job and do it right. It's only a few things. So I'm pretty sure we're tapped out on that one. Pretty sure we're on a rock again. But hey, the good news is we went even further. Two foot four. So 28 inches in. That's right in the bedrock area. I think we're having just a, such a hard time because it is a square post. In the middle of the drive, it just started sinking straight down. A definite good option to be able to drive. The post does get a little bit mangled. Definitely you need to order about a, another foot to compensate for cutting this off and any damage that you might do for scratching that. Uh, how far down we scratched it, looks like we went about four and a half inches down. So if you order an extra foot, I think you'd do just fine. Obviously we didn't get down as far as we wanted to. We were really hoping for that three foot mark, but on that first drive, we only got it to two feet, maybe a little bit less than, and I couldn't even pull that by hand. I had to use a dang forklift. So yeah, this is definitely a good option in the right ground conditions, 100%. Now, what about driving an aluminum post? This is what we're gonna try next. I gotta sneeze. So this post, isn't as heavy as this one. I'm very interested to see if it's just gonna completely crush it like a pop can, or is it gonna drive? Very curious. So we'll turn this around so you guys can see those numbers. And I know some of you guys do dabble in aluminum fence. So with this, I am upsizing the post. I do not have to change out the head because this head will go up to a max of two and a half by two and a half post. The only thing that I had to do I had to get the different hammering head. So this is for a two inch post, and this head is for a two and a half. 
because it fits right up in that post. <coughs> hey, and if, uh, if by chance you just so happen to be looking for a Rano Driver XA, make sure and see the link below. A follow-up option of another driver would be a Ready Driver, and Ready Driver, I do not believe, has the square post adapters. So Rhino has, Rhino has a leg up. Here we go. So we stall that on another rock again. I'm starting to think that there's a lot more rock this direction than there is that direction. I honestly did not expect this. I thought this post was gonna crumble. I really did. And when it started driving, I was like, wow, that's crazy. So we have one more post. We're gonna drive it back there. We're gonna see if we can get past the two foot mark. So. Uh-oh. Maybe there's a different, uh, another problem though. Okay, it's not a problem, but I was beating on it so hard. What happened as it started to expand outward, just got the head a little bit tighter, it didn't get stuck. So should we see if we can at least take this one out by hand first? It's it, it's in there. It's not even at two feet. Oh, maybe I'm getting some movement now. No, I still can't get it. I can feel the rock there. That's surprising as well. So that rock shelf must taper down just a little bit further. So yes, you can 100% drive aluminum fence. Let's see if we can get this thing off this time. The only downfall, and maybe it's just our area, but the only downfall is on the two and a half inch post, this adapter is really tight. So when that post expands out on the aluminum, now I'm not saying that steel is gonna do this, and maybe not every aluminum post is gonna do this, but it just kind of buckles out and makes it tight. Can I not get it off? No, but it is just a little bit more of a, a trick. So just a forewarning. I mean, that block really did protect the top of that post very well. Let's recap of what that thing's gonna be good for. It's gonna open up a whole new world now. A great option for street signs, ornamental iron fence, aluminum fence. Just, uh, yeah, and I can't get it out either. There you have it. In case you were wondering, can you drive a square aluminum post and a square steel post? It's a definite yes. Yes, you can. Make sure and see all the links below. And if you have not seen the other adapter that goes with the Rhino Driver XA to drive Postmasters, and if you didn't know you could drive Postmasters, that video is right here. And if you wanted to see Rhino Driver and Ready Driver, that video is right here. Stand with SWI. We are Wyoming's Fence Company, and you have a good dang day.